Hello, are you wanting to streamline your genealogy research a bit? Do you want to become a more efficient researcher? You're in the right place. Hi, I'm Lisa Listen with Are You My Cousin, where I strive to take the overwhelm out of your genealogy research. Now, before we start talking more about efficient genealogy research and streamlining your process, I would love for it if you would hit that subscribe button down in the right hand corner so that you do not miss any of the videos I post here at the Are You My Cousin YouTube channel. Okay, now one of the ways to be a more efficient genealogy researcher and to maybe move a little bit quicker into your research is to customize your homepage over at, at Ancestry.com. Now I use Ancestry.com frequently. I use it almost basically every day in my genealogy research. It is my workhorse that I use. But did you know if you use that, you can customize your start page, your home page there? It is a great way to streamline your research and get right into what you need to do quickly without having to kind of stop and backtrack and wonder where you're going. So I'm going to take you over to Ancestry.com today and I'm going to show you how to customize your homepage and I will see you over there. Welcome guys and thank you for joining me over here on my Ancestry homepage. I wanted to show you how to customize your homepage so that you can, when you hit Ancestry, Dot com you are ready to move forward with your research it's going to make you more efficient and it's going to keep you a little faster with your research when you have what you need at your fingertips so let me close that so i can show you how to get this so this is my home page so when i click into ancestry this is where i come to and the way to customize your home page is this button right up here so it's it says customize your homepage. So if you click on that, it tells you the available items that you can put on your homepage. Now, if you want to take a look at what I already have, I have a search box so I can start my search directly from my homepage without having to click through. I have um, activity on my family trees. So anything it that tells me that most recently I've been working on my Are You My Cousin tree and what I have done or the, or the people I have viewed. This is a really nice thing. I enjoy this because it allows me to, it helps me remember where I was with my research and it allows me to get back to it fairly quickly. And then I also have this record, this set down here. This is what's happening at Ancestry. These are the new and updated records and it allows me to get a really quick overview and then I can click through to all of the records if I wish. You'll notice on the right hand side, I put up my quick links because it allows me to very quickly get to links that I use frequently. So that's a nice thing to have there. And then down here, I've been doing a lot of research on my husband's side of the family who were, um, and they were Eastern European Jewish immigrants. And so I have the name variations, the Jewish name variations box there because it's, this is a real challenge for me as I learn about the heritage of the Jewish immigrants and how they, their naming patterns and, and really just everything about that particular um, culture so that I can be a better researcher for that. What you have here, what you decide to put on your homepage is entirely up to you guys. There is no right or wrong. And at any time, any of this doesn't serve me well, I'll actually get rid of something or I might add something. So let me show you how to do that. So again, remember, we're here on the main page and we have customize your homepage. And I know that I've been working on my husband's side of the family and I see that I can add the Jew Jewish community locator. So I'm going to click on that and it tells me a little bit more about what that um, particular box can do for me. It helps me to track the, the communities through time and I'm going to say yes, I want it. it. Gives me that nice little preview of what it looks like and I'm going to click add it to my home page. And there it is right there. Now I can leave it at the top or if I choose, I can move it down. And so I'm going to, oops, I'm going to move it down so that it's close to the name variation so I can just work on everything right there. I'll show you another one that I like to add. I like to put my shoebox there. So I might click on my shoebox 
it tells me, shows me that nice little preview there and it tells me a little bit about it. So if you've not used your shoebox, it's kind of like when you find a record and you think it might be part, you, you're not 100% sure. Is it really one you want to definitely attach to somebody or is it a record that you want to come back and look at in a future? So we're saving, like think about saving things and stick them in a box at home, same thing. And so you can plop them into your shoebox. So I like to have that on my homepage because I want a quick link to it and I can go back. Oh, where'd it go? And there it is at the very top and it's my shoebox. And it shows you the first three things that I've labeled in there. Now, I don't really want it at the top. I'm probably gonna go ahead and put it at the bottom because for me, well, quite honestly, that works. And so there it is. And I know, I know it's there. I can see what I've done recently and I can click into it very easily. Once you're done, you can click exit and you're good to go. Now, if at any point, as I said, if, if some of this isn't serving me well, or maybe I'm no longer doing um, Jewish research, then what I would do would be customize my homepage again. I would scroll down and I would simply click the trash can and I would remove it. And there you have it. So it's very easy to move these things around. It's very easy to add and it's very easy to delete. So don't, don't be afraid. And, and there's no reason to be stuck in one um, format or, or one uh, order if, if something else makes more sense to you. It's just how, this is just how I personally do it and have personally set mine up, but you choose. Explore it and play with it a bit and see what you think and see what works best for you. Okay, guys, that's all I've got for you there. Okay, we're back. I hope you found that helpful, guys, too. Um, I find that when I can customize that homepage, I really have simplified my workflows. It's the same each time I go, and therefore I can move right into the meat of my research and the heart of my research without having to stop and reconfigure the wheel or restart my process over and over again and try to remember what it was I did last time. I hope to see you next time here at the Are You My Cousin YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. You won't miss a thing if you do. And I will see you then. Have a great day, guys.